Ihida Make to invite our pastor, Pastor Wainaina, a dinner bere kinya hau hage. Tomo kenere ageoka, neke to mohore rohe ageoka. Amen. Haya to pigi ewe pastor Mrs. Bonnie Makofi. Ay kunawe gine wa pigi, we to pigi makofi sa sawa. Tore rohe. Amen. Ah niketaka kujukua na fazi kualika katika ibada yetu ya pili. Nataka kuwajulisha uwepo wa Bwana uko pahali hapa na ningetaka kuwaakishia utabarikiwa. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri kwa sababu umekuja usikie uko pahali ambapo panafaa na tutaendelea mzuri. Ah ningetaka kuleta matangazo ah na ni kama ifuatavyo. Ah ofisi ya Scovi ingetaka kushukuru wote wale walihudhuria mikutano ya lunch hour na revival meetings ambazo zilikuwa pale Kano Hall wiki yote. Kwa hivyo wale waliweza kuhudhuria hizo mikutano, Mungu wetu awabariki na endelee kuwatenda mema. Ah uh, tarehe 13 ambayo ni Jumapili ambayo inakuja tutakuwa na ibada ambayo itakuwa inaogozwa na akina baba. Na hapo baadaye alasiri tutakuwa na open air ama mkutano wa pale nje na ni uh, akina baba ambao atakuwa anaogoza lakini itakuwa yetu uh, kila moja wetu na uh, kwa hivyo ni vizuri uh, tujitayarishe ili Jumapili ambayo inakuja tuhudhurie hiyo open air alafu sande hiyo ingine ambayo itafuata uh, tutakuwa na ibada ya wanadada na alasili bado tutakuwa na mkutano wa nje. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri tuendelee kujitayarisha ili tarehe 20 tuwe na ibada hiyo na open air pale uh, pale tutajulishwa. Alafu sadeo ingine ambayo itafuata that uh, itakuwa ni tarehe 20 na samba tutakuwa na wanalika ndio watakuwa na ibada zote bili. Alafu hapo baadaye uh, alasiri tutakuwa na mkutano wa nje na kwa hivyo bado tutaendelea kujitayarisha kwa sababu wanalika ndio watakuwa na tuongoza lakini sisi zote tutaenda kuwa support then uh, tarehe 13 mwezi ujao wa march wakati huo ndio tutakuwa na ile kupasha tohara kwa watoto wetu vijana hasa wale ambao wanafanya mtihani wa kidatu cha nane na kwa hivyo ni vizuri tujitayarishe tu, tu, tujulishe wale wengine kama wewe uko na mtoto uh, kijana abaye anafanya darasa la nane uh, ama mtihani wa darasa la nane na ama ni wajirani yako ama ni wadugu yako ni vizuri tuendeze huu ujube ili uh, tuwe na wakati mzuri nao vijana uh, hii program ilianza miaka kumina sita abao imepita Na hiyo miaka kumina sita Tumedelea kuwa na wakati mzuri Na niketaka kuwakikishia Wale abao wataleta vijana wao pali hapa Watapata huduma bora Kwa sababu tumekuwa na hiyo mkutano na tumeona ma, 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 matuda Na tunafurahia na tunashukuru mugu Ma registration nama kujiadikisha Ni shirigi elfu moja Arafu malipawe ingine ni LF7 na ofisi zetu zinakuwaga zimefunguliwa kuanzia Monday mpaka Friday kwa hivyo kitaka hiyo fomu ya kujiadikisha 
utaipata hapo katika jina la Yesu. Ah uh, kulingana na hiyo wale ambao wanafanya wale wat, kama tuko, wale wako na watoto ambao wanafanya KCSE uh, mwe, mwezi ujao na wale wanafanya KCPE mwezi ujao uh, askofu wetu ametayarisha success cards na ni vizuri kwa sababu hizo success cards zimeobewa na bishop ni vizuri tuchukue na tupelekee watoto wetu na namataka kusema wata, watafanya mzuri mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu. Aya Mwiru ako ametoka nje kiasi. Oh uko hapo. Ya hata mtapata hizo cards kutoka kwa brother Mwiru. Kwa hivyo uchukue tukimaliza ibada. Ah Jumapili ambayo inakuja ndio tutaanza foundation class. Na hii foundation class tunasema sio wale watu ambao wameokoka majuzi lakini ni ya kila moja wetu ni vizuri tu jue neno la Mungu na kupitia hii foundation class ni vizuri tujiandikishe na tuanze kusoma na hii masomo inaanza saa moja every sunday kwa hivyo ni vizuri uh, wale ambao wamejiandikisha ama wale wanataka kujiandikisha waone brother Kusima brother Kusima is there uh, ili mjiandikishe na tusome uh, uh, neno la Bwana tarehe 13 kama tulivyo tulitangaza Jumapili iliyopita itakuwa ni siku muhimu sana katika uh, kwetu kanisa hili kwa sababu wakati huo ndio tutakuwa tunaona our bishop we are going to honor our bishop na tunasemanga wakati huo ndio bado anaende anakuanga na wakati wa kusherekea birthday yake. Sasa nimejulishwa birthday ya bishop itakuwa tarehe mbili. Hiyo ni kumaanisha tarehe tatu tunakuja hapa tunasherekea na yeye na tunampatia mazawadi, sijui kama kuna mazawadi ama ni zawadi, tunampatia zawadi, tunafurahia na tunajua kwa sababu ni baba yetu na die, abaye ametulisha anatulisha kiroho kila jumapili ni vizuri kila moja wetu tujitayarishe na zawadi mzuri ili wakati huo tutakuwa na wakati mzuri na our dad tunasemanga waweza jitayarisha kibinafsi ama kifamilia ama kwa kikudi kwa hivyo yote vile unaona itakuwa sawa wacha tukuje tarehe tatu tuwe na wakati mzuri na kwa sababu askofu wetu wanakuwa mkalimu sana Siku hiyo ametayarisha lunch kwa kila mmoja wetu. Sikufurahie bishop. bishop. Eh. Hiyo wakati huo tutakuwa na haraka, tutakuwa I'm, I'm very sure tutakuwa na ibada moja, alafu tutakula pamoja, tutakunywa pamoja na tutasherekea pamoja katika jina la Yesu. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri tuendelee kuombea hayo mambo yote ambayo nimetaja na yale unastahili kuchukua hatua uchukue hatua kwa sababu Mungu wetu ni mwema praise the lord haya sasa wakati wa ibada ya kwanza tulikuwa na wakati mzuri na tukabarikiwa sawa sawa nataka kuwakilishia hata ibada hii tutabarikiwa bwana asifiwe mko tayari kubarikiwa haya sasa Mungu wetu ametupatia rafiki ambao ni wa bishop asimame Askofu wetu wamekuja. Amen. Aya, <laughs> tuketi. Sasa kwa sababu askofu amekuja. <laughs> uh, askofu tunataka utujulishe mgeni wetu ili tuendelee na ibada katika jina la Yesu. Tusimame sisi zote. Amen. Karibu sana. Haya tupige soma kofi kwa pastor Wainaina. Reka tore Yesu Roho Mtakatifu wa pastor Wainaina. Kwa kusukua na hiyo muda. Mtoto wa Hidari wa tugatana. So thank you you can have a seat. Thank you Monotu Ikarede. We want to bless 
the name of the Lord. Because from Tuesday all the way to Friday. We have been, uh, we, we have been, we have been taught many things. We the name of the Lord for the revelation that the man of God, God using his servant. And the people are lifted. And we bless the name of the Lord for the word that we have received this week. And we are going to enjoy the word of God today. So it's my pleasure to bring to you a son of the ministry and Nanios, our reverend, reverend Ongeri. Ongeri from Nakuru, Nakuru. Makobi, this is home. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, I want to bless the Lord for you. And I thank God for this service. Praise the name of Jesus. Are we live? To live on Facebook. Are we live? Yes? Yeah, we are live. Oh, beautiful. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the opportunity. We have had an awesome week. Praise the name of Jesus. In our meetings at the Kanu Hall. Amen. Amen. We have had a wonderful time together with uh, my dad here, our bishop. bishop uh, I really appreciate God for the grace that I've always gotten to come at this particular time. Amen. Amen. I usually come to Moranga when there are mangoes. And I, I thank God for that. And this week, I've really worked hard. Enjoying the mangoes. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> and also our bishop has been a blessing to my life and my family. He has challenged us to grow in our physical lives and our spiritual lives. Anytime I come to Moranga, I copy something and I go with it. Amen. Amen. I come to school. I have also seen the beauty. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. And uh, when you come next time, there will be a change. Amen. Amen. And this man of God, you need to honor him and appreciate him. And especially when he's celebrating that birthday. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We appreciate mom in our absence. And may the grace of God be sufficient as he ministers in the U.S. Now today is a climax. But before I get to the word, please receive greetings from my wife and uh, the Deliverance Church Amen. 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 We love you and we are a family. Amen. Amen. Today is a climax of what I've been sharing. I pray that the Lord will give you a heart of understanding and that you will receive the direction is giving the church. Amen. Amen. And uh, as I conclude, I want to share on things to do to experience a great catch. Things to do to experience a great catch. We have already been given the word for 2022. The Lord has said in this year there is a great catch for you. There are great things the Lord wants to do. 
And when God speaks, as a believer, you need to learn how to grasp that word and run with the word. You need to know if this is what the Lord has said. What am I supposed to do so that that word is fulfilled in my life? Because our God does not just speak. The Bible says he stands behind his word to perform it. Are we together? That is Jeremiah chapter number one. Jeremiah Emwe and verses 12. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 from verse 8 down there that is so shall my word be that it proceeds out of my mouth. It will not return to me void but shall accomplish the purpose for which I have sent it. And as I stand here today I want to guarantee you that this year the Lord is committed to fulfill a great catch in your life. Praise the name of Jesus. But you need to understand what you are supposed to do for that, for that great catch to be actualized in your life. And the Bible says in Luke chapter number 5 and from verse 4 the Bible says when he had finished speaking he said to Simon put out into the deep water and let down the nets for a catch Simon answered Simon, Master we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything but because you say so I will let down the nets and the Bible says Verse 6, please. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. The first thing you must do to experience a great catch is to break out of your customs and traditions. Break out of your customs and traditions. A custom is an accept, acceptable way of behaving or doing things. An acceptable way. This is how I do things. This is how I pray. This is how I give. Uh -huh. yeah. This is how I study the word of God. You create a way of doing things Praise the name of Jesus. And that tradition is a behavior that is passed down within a group. Are we together? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a behavior passed down within a group. And in every person's life, there are things we are used to doing. And they turn out to be a custom. Praise the name of Jesus. You are used to doing things in a particular way. Waking up at nine. Uh -huh. yeah. Cooking in a particular design. And they become a custom. Praise the name of Jesus. Every church has its own tradition. There are things we do as a deliverance church. Praise the name of Jesus. That when you go to a deliverance church, you are able to identify with that church because of their traditions. Praise the name of Jesus. The fishermen, the fishermen, they had also their own tradition. It was part 
passed on from generation to generation. It was, it was known that the fishing is done at night. Are we together? It is done at night. You just throw nets into the lake and allow fate to take its course whatever comes that is what you take home if nothing comes you give up are we together praise the name of Jesus in other words this is how I pray this is how I go to church if things work well and good this is how I give if things were well and good, but this particular day, Jesus comes into the life of the fishermen to break their custom and tradition. He comes to break the custom and their tradition. And I believe this year the Lord has given us a word and for this word to be fulfilled their customs and traditions that must be broken out of your life. Somebody say amen. There are customs the way we do things praise the name of Jesus that must be broken are you hearing me you can't continue doing things the same way and expect different results praise the name of Jesus you must come to a point and realize for this great catch to be fulfilled in my life. I need to ask God how do you want me to give? How do you want me to evangelize? How do you want me to pray? How do you want me to do this? How do you want me to study your word? Praise the name of Jesus. Come on. Hey. Praise the name of Jesus. How do you want me to attend church? Are we together? And when he says to you and shows you the way that is not common in your life, the Lord is saying this custom must be broken. This way of life must change. The way we do things in deliverance church must change for us to have a great catch. Come on. The way you do things in your life must change for there to be a great catch. You need to realize that a custom or a tradition might not be necessarily sinful. But it is a way of life a way of life that gives you minimal returns. Minimal returns. And the great catch is not for minimal returns. I stand and declare the minimal results you have been receiving in your life must come to an end. Come on, the second service. The minimal results you have been receiving in your life must come to an end. This is not the year for an average life. This is the year for a great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Things must change. Things must change. You need to tell God, I have done this for many years and the outcome has not been pleasing to this year, Lord. Change my life. This year, Lord, show me a new method. This year, Lord, reveal to me that which you desire in my life I declare in the name of Jesus I declare in the name of Jesus every custom 
and every tradition that has held deliverance church Moranga deliverance church Kenya must pray must pray must pray every customer in your life that has hindered the move of God must pray must pray today I set you free from every customer today in the name of Jesus I release the anointing to break loose from our prayerlessness to break loose from lack of Bible study to break loose from a life of not being concerned with the things of God I release a new customer of carrying the burden of the things of God in your life I release a desire for you to participate in the things of God this year the Lord is saying no more spectation I am not interested with the spectators the custom of spectating must come to an end this year is the year of participation you put your right foot forward and say here I am use me Lord are you hearing? Second service. Second service. Are you hearing me? If you are hearing me, say yes, Lord. Analyze your life. Analyze your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you need to willingly tell God change this in my life. You need to willingly tell God. Enough is enough. It is time for me to see a great catch. I can't continue doing business that give me many more returns. Where I can't build a house. I can't educate my children. I need better returns. I need better returns. I declare today in the name of Jesus every customer, every tradition, whether you know it or you don't know it, that has held you alive under the anointing of our Father. I declare it broken from your life. I declare it broken from your life. May the Lord set you free for a great catch. Now you are there, people don't know. They have been held captive by a custom. They don't know. They don't know. There are people in this nation. They don't know. The problem is their traditions. Is their customs. They are not aware. But God is aware. It is this custom. Of going to fish at night. Carelessly. That has denied you. A great catch of fish. So he comes this year. And he says. We are not going to the crusade. To preach there. As usual. We are going to stand on the ground. Raise up our voices to God. And then for 10 minutes. We will step out. And go to the people. And bring them to Christ. We can't sit there. We can't stand there. Shouting. Sweating. And there are no returns. We must go to where the fish is. We will go to their houses. We will go to their businesses. We will go to their chambers. We will lead them where they are. We can't just stand there. We have done it wrong enough. Now we must round you. 
Tunasimama na tuspika tuwiri pale. Tukaroga mahara na spika ile. Tunapiga kelele. Tuka ilika Sauti inapotea. Sauti kora. Unauliza nani ataokoka? Ukoni unaokonoka. Hakuna mtu anainua mkono. Gotiro roaguoka. Nani mgonjwa? Nomo roaguoka. Hakuna mgonjwa. Gotiro roaguoka. Nani anataka kubarikiwa? Nani anataka kuradhiwa? Hakuna anataka kubarikiwa. Imetosha. Hatutatumia nguvu. Bila matokeo. Doki nya toke na magadha. That custom must change. No, I come to go Mari Tulipo. I come to go Tawakuta Mari Muko. Come to Mukuji Kwetu. To Kuja Kwenu. Ah, second service. Second service. To Kotayari Kuja Kwenu. To Tawakuta Mafisini. To Tawakuta Mashambani. To Tawakuta Hospitalini. To Tawakuta Kuja Mari Tulipo. Mulipo. To Kora Kora Mori. The customs. And the tradition. That have held the church. Must break. Must break. Can you say break? Can you say break? Break. Can you say break? break. I'm saying, can you say break? Break. break. Now do as I do. I'm going to Can you say break? Break. Break, break out of my life, out of my life, out of the church, out of the church. Amen. Amen. Kama mukuj, aki koma tigoka, mume tu darau, nemo to irete, utakuja mahari muri, togo kaku muri, utakutana, ne togo semania, mondo go mondo, o mondo ko mondo, one on one. Moja kwa mwingine. Lazima tufunje hii mira. Ndio kinya toka makoro. Kwani nani alisema? No waigire. Watu wataokoka. Tunawahubiria na microphone. Tama hujana na microphone. Tama hujana na microphone. Hakuna it is not written in the Bible. Ti maudomaso ti bandike Bible ile. It's not written anywhere. Ti bandike Biblia ile. We will come to you. Togo kakumuri. We will pray with you. Toko haya hamwe na inyu. Where you are. Kumuri. We will sell our properties. No, we will sell our wares. We are going to pray in a different way. We are going to study this word in a different way. We are going to give in a different way. The custom must break. No, if your custom has been giving a hundred shillings for twenty years, no wonder there is no change. Now, the custom must break. We are going to give thousands. We are going to give thousands. We are going to give willingly. We are going to push the work of God to a different level. Somebody say yes, yes, yes. Sema kwa kikuyu. Uga e e e. Siwasiki. Sema kwa kikuyu. Uga e e e. Ay watu wa second service mulikura ranch kabra mukuje kwa ibada. Can you say ini kikuyu? What is saying? One two three. E e e. Aya one two three. E e e. Come on, Simiu. Can you say e e e? Say my things must change. Customs must break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are willing to see God in your life, I tell you today, He is willing to come into your life. He is willing to show up in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must change the game. You must change your actions. You must change your prayer. And the Lord will give you victory. The second thing you must do to experience a great catch live in total obedience. Live in total obedience. Give me Luke 5 verse 4. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Simon put out into the deep water and let the net down for a touch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night. And I have got 
anything. Let us read together the last sentence. One, two, three. But because you say so, uh -huh. I will let down the nets. I will do what? I will do what? I will, I will let down, down the, the nets. nets. Ah, we are not flowing together. I command every mind to be arrested to obey Christ. Can we move together? But because you have said it, but I will do what? I, I will let down, down the nets. nets. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, so I was wrong. In other words, what you are telling me to do, we have already done it. And we have done it the whole night. And we have caught nothing. But because you have told us to do it, we will do it. I will do it. It doesn't matter who will disobey. But because you have said it, I will obey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have lived a frustrated life as a believer long enough. You have lived a frustrated life long enough. You can record that you have not seen God to his maximum. Your life is scarce of signs and wonders. You can't record anything significant that God has done in your life. Your life has no testimonies. The reason is simple. You have missed in the area of obedience. It doesn't matter how challenging things have been. If God tells you take this direction <laughs> if the Lord tells you this is what will bear fruit in your life even if it doesn't make sense you know to the disciples it did not make sense for people to go to the lake during the day Fish comes out at night. The maki sitaga go otuko. Even today, on our day, fishing is not done during the day. Go tega the maki go take kama day. It is done at night. Ne wera wa otuko. Praise the name of Jesus. So what Jesus is telling them? Ko wo oreje sora mera. It's ridiculous. Ne odo ote wa ko. It is out of this world. Ne odo ote ke ke. It never works like that. Ti odo aru te ke ka go. That is why Peter says. Na ne ke Peter ora mo. We have done what we know. We have done what we know. But because you have given us a different command, though it may not work, but because you have said so, I will let it down the net. Ah, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it is against nature, it is against the science. As far as my education is concerned, this is foolishness. But because you have said it, but because you have said it, I will do it. My God. Oh, my God. Huh. In other words, I am going to humble myself so much. Come again, sir. I'll humble myself so much. I'll humble myself so much that I will obey you even if it doesn't make sense. This year, 
Be prepared we had already yet. for foolish instructions. They never more on my own Be prepared for foolish instructions. We had already more it is in more. the foolishness of God that his power will be displayed. It is what he tells you. That is far below the standards of your understanding that will bring the great cash. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Now, these people in the wedding of Cana in Galilee, they have run out of wine. They have run out of wine. And uh, it is about to bring shame. It's about to bring shame. And the mother of Jesus says, These people have run out of wine. Jesus asks, What does that have to do with me? Then the mother of Jesus does not argue. She turns to the servants. And what does she tell the servants? Listen to me. Whatever he says to you, do it. Whatever he says to you, do it. And then Jesus gives foolish instructions as far as the chemistry of making wine is concerned. He says to the servants, now there are six pots there holding 20 gallons. And he says, put water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They put water. I'm quoting John 2. John 2 from verse 1. They put water. And then Jesus says to them, Now take the water. In other words, now fetch the water. Take it to the master of ceremony. And the servants foolishly just take the water and present it to the master of ceremony. And the Bible says the master of ceremony asks where has this wine been? Naturally Praise the name of Jesus. You give people the best wine. And then when they are filled up or when they are drunk, in short, you now give them a lesser one. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible says he did not know where the wine had come from. Now, how did they get the best wine? They did not follow the procedure of chemistry. They got the best wine because they obeyed the instructions of Jesus. Listen to me. Better things are on your way. Better things are on your way. Better doors are before you. Better opportunities are coming your way. I want to say the life you have lived has been a riasso. Better things are coming. But the secret to experience the better things is obeying what the Lord says to you. This year, God will give you instructions. And already, he has given instructions. This week, the Lord has said to us, I have a need. You have a need? I have a need. You have a need? I have a need. Do you want me to meet your need? Seek 
to know my need. Praise the name of Jesus. As you meet my need, I will meet your need. And as far as I'm concerned, you don't need to start seeking to know the will of God. Already the man of God has told us the need of God. What is the need of God? The lost. Souls. Souls. People who don't know Jesus. They are the need of God. As you go for them. As you preach to sinners. Your doors will open. Without sweating. As you go for the sinners. I want to declare to you. Your promotion. Will come. Your finances. Will flow. Your hearing will come without going for medication because as you meet the need of God he will meet your need many times we struggle to persuade God we struggle to persuade God Mungu ni saidie. Mwatha ni daidia. Mungu ni kumbuke. Mwatha ni dirikana. Mungu ni piganie. Mwatha ni doerera. Mungu fungua murango. Mwatha ni tuhigura murango. Mina kemea maro. Takoma. Zinefunga mirango zangu. Ile hike temena wakaya kwa. Mina ziuwa kwa moto. Mina zikata kata na panga. Na ukiamuka asubui. Unakuta kuna kitu imetendeka. Why? You are operating against the will of God. He is saying. He is saying, forget about your need. I have a need. When Peter met the need of Jesus, by allowing him to use his pot, Jesus met his need of fish. He did not struggle to get fish. Immediately made his need. Fish came up during the day. Your money is with God. Your job, your wife, your husband, your children are with God. As you meet his need, he will meet your need. So what do you need to do? Obey what the man of God has said. Let us meet in on the field. Sunday afternoon, let us praise the Lord. After praising the Lord. Let's go and do friendly evangelism. And as you step out, the Lord will draw nigh into your life and fight your battles. And fight your battles. And gives you, and gives you joy. And gives you peace. He will come where you least expected him. Let me say this. God knows what you need. More than you know it. Sometimes you think you need money. To buy a car. God. Can give you the car. Without money. I've driven cars. A car, cars without money. I remember after we finished building our sanctuary. And it was dedicated. One week. After the dedication. Do that dedication. You know when you do projects in the church. And more so when you have a deadline. All the resources that come. Are used. Look at me. Listen to me. Hey. I'm the preacher here. Come on. Hey. Clap your hands to Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus. I want your attention. So, we have exhausted all the resources. I did not have a single shilling. And you know when you are doing projects, and you have already invited a bishop to come and dedicate, you push people to give so that you can meet the deadline. So we exhausted report our money in the and the money in the pockets of people. One week after we dedicated the sanctuary, a man tells me, 
Pastor, I want to buy for you a car. One week. One week. One week. Bishop. Bishop. That and said he. And came said one week after we dedicated our sanctuary. I came with it here. I've driven it to Moranga. No money. But the Lord. No I, I had made the need of God. He made my need. Without a struggle. Sometimes you think you know your needs. And that you can work a formula. To meet your needs. I give you a simple formula. Meet the need of God. Obey what the Lord is saying. And your needs will be handled. What is the Lord saying? I want to use you the way you are. I'm not waiting to give you money. I'm not waiting to solve all your problems. I want to use you the way that you are. I fail yourself. yourself. Tell God, I am broken. I am in pain. I am frustrated. But if you need a person, here I am in my frustrations. And if you can trust God to use you in your frustration, He will wipe it away. He will take it away. He will fight for you. The need, the solution is with you. I say it here. Over the ranch hour. That your solution to the challenges you are facing is in the house of God. It's in the house of God. It's in the kingdom of God. So, what do you need to do? Stick to the rhino. Abide where the Lord is. Be faithful in the house. Be faithful in the kingdom. And the great catch will be your portion. And then I said, the last thing the Lord is saying to us, I have given you natural abilities. I have given you spiritual abilities. I have given you corporate abilities. Use them. I'm not asking you what you don't have. I am asking you what I've given you. This year, you need to tell God what you have given to me. I'm ready to use it. And the great catch will be your portion. Will be your portion. Will be your portion. Raise up your hand. Declare after me. My days of struggles. My days of struggles are over. Are over. Come on, say that even if you don't know English. Say my days of struggles. My days of struggles are over. Are over. Declare now. I enter the season. I enter the season. Of a great catch. Declare today. I allow God to break the customs and the traditions. From today, I will live in total obedience in the name of Jesus. And under the grace of our Father, I declare miracles over your life. I declare an open heaven over your life. I declare favor wherever you go. May the Lord fight your back. May you eat the fruits of the vines you did not plant. May you live in houses that you did not build. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord fight for you. May the great catch be your portion in the name of Jesus. Let's be on our feet. Start praying in tongues. Start calling on the name of the Lord. Start asking God. This is my ear. This this is my ear. I break loose. I break loose. In the name of Jesus. Let's receive our bishop. I break loose. 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 I break
uombe zaidi na uingie katika kiritini kwa maombi katika jina la Yesu Kristo in the name of the Lord go deeper in prayer go deeper in prayer go deeper in prayer robo shokoro babu ya ngarami na mashakara babu ya ngarami na mashakara babu robo robo shokoro babu jesus we give you rika takara babu robo robo shokoro babu ya ngarami na mashakara babu ya ngarami na babu robo robo shokoro babu ya ngarami na mashakara yes fungua mgomo wako fungua mgomo wako wase kuomba wambie mungu nakitaka kuingia katika kiritini Oh, <laughs>
second in the presence of God. The word of God has come to us very powerfully. That 2022 is a year of breaking customs and traditions. It's breaking behaviors in our life, some behaviors in our life. Some behaviors in our life. Customs and tradition that are hindering our great catch. We have to be ready to break them in prayer in the word of God. No more being obedient to the word of God. Simon said, Lord Jesus. Simon We have been here the whole night with our traditions and customs of fishing at night. Thank you for Jesus because he said. By my word, go to the deep. And when they obeyed the word of Jesus, their life was changed completely. Because they received multitude of fishes because of obeying the word of Jesus. Your catch and my cat is obeying the word and going deeper in the word of God and also in prayer. Going deeper in prayer. Going deeper in the word. Going deeper in prayer. Giving dedication, commitment, and dedications. We must declare this year. We are not going to struggle. That we go deeper and enjoy the blessing and the promises of God. This is what the Lord is saying. We break our traditions. We break our customs that we are that we, we know and we are we are used with them. And even some behaviors that are hidden in great culture. We have to decide. We have to make a decision. That 2021, 2022, there's no more struggling. Raise up your hand to me. Precious! And loving Father in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the word that I've received from you when you used your servants. Thank you, Lord, for using him mightily and greatly that that word you come to us. That our life will be changed for better. And I pray from today. Help us as your servants. Help us, O oh Lord, that we obey your word. That our life will change for good. 
church. Help these people, Lord. Together with me, Lord. That this year, you'll be our year of going more deeper. Going more deeper. Deeper in prayer. Deeper in loving you. Deeper in giving. Deeper in your word. That we can be able to get our church. I pray that your grace in the house is going to reach of us. That this year we go deeper. We go more. Which you have for us. We bless you and we exalt you for hearing our prayer. Because this we pray and believe in. In Jesus' name. Our Lord and our Savior. Amen. 2022. 2022. You are my year. You are my year. Of my great cash. Of great cash. Say more now than say. 2022. 2022. You are my year. You are my year. Of my great cash. Of my great cash. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Come name. Come on, celebrate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not going to struggle. I am not going to struggle. 2022. 2022. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. I am not going to struggle. I am not going to struggle. It's my year. It's my year. Of my great cash. Of great cash. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Come on, celebrate We are struggling. Because we are not obeying the word of God. That's why these guys they have been slow the whole night. See, nothing happened. Because they are, they are used to fish at night. Even today, people fish at night. But the word changed their custom. They fished. During the day. When you break your behavior and customs, and to attention, a miracle anywhere, anytime, any day, any week can happen to you in Jesus' name. Unusual miracles. Unusual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you stop your hand toward the men of God? Into the men of God. That was for me. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Thank you so much. 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 Thank this week we have seen the hand of God. We know that God will come to guy. On Wednesday, when you are Wednesday, a sister called Maureen. Maureen, they told her Maureen, and she was here in the first service. I'm not first service. She got saved. Aki Honoka. Friday here. Friday woke up. When these people are doing the practice, I make a practice choir. A young man called Kiprangat. Maureen, Maureen, can't talk Kiprangat. He got saved. On Aki Aki Honoka. Yesterday. When I take, took, take this man to Mima for lunch, I sat and lady there who was serving us. We preached to her. She got saved. Ah! It has been a great week for, for great culture. And we are not going to stop. So, baby said this week to continue. You know, getting people and continue testifying and preaching to them. We cannot pick up this. Okay, who did you do? Oh, I'm okay. We're going to get away. 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 We're going to no, we to I told people in the morning. Our, our preaching is going to change. We we'll be allowing these, these people to be having wonderful places. And then we join them. 
Every preacher that you may be preaching. He or she will not preach more than 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And all of us will say much forward. What about katika <laughs> So don't ask me, can, can we pray for you? Apana, you apana, say apana. Look at the
Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, this afternoon, we are so grateful for what you have done. Jesus. We thank you, Lord, even for enabling us to be in the house called by thy name. Jesus. God, you have given us an opportunity to worship you. Hallelujah. With what you have given us. Jesus. As we stretch our hand, O oh God, it's a sign of confidence and trust in you. Jesus. How do we pray that, Father, you also walk with us as we make steps of faith? God, you will walk with us. Yes, Lord. For the glory and honor of your name. Jesus. My God, we pray that you are going to bless our hands. Yes. Because the Bible says you bless the work of our hands. Yes, Lord. As we stretch to give thanks unto you. Mm. For this we do it and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you are putting your tithe there, your offering and a visitor. That is Over in tithe and a visitor. And also pay bill. You can also pay bill. And also pay bill. Let me pay number. Where can you go? So we want to meditate all what God has spoken to us. But let us meet at lunch hour from tomorrow all the to Friday. And then there will be prayer here every single day if, uh, from 5.30 to 6.30. And we are going to enjoy. Then the next cash, half cash is on 28th of this month. Kesha ni 20, 20, 20, 28 of Mwerioyo. Half Kesha. Half Kesha. We are going to hit the Lord. The next visitor, you will be coming from Tanzania. No, say what I'm saying. I'm saying next visitor is from Tanzania. You will be preaching at Kakamega and Bungoma. And then he will join us here. For one week. We are going to enjoy to get great catch up. So don't mean you purpose to be where God is. Amen. If you don't if you don't make the Because he said Every victory and success is within us. Oh, outside. with you. Like I told you. Oh, they hate me. Pastor the commission. Someone can take the pressure to the you are commanded to obey and act the word that you have heard this day in Jesus' name. You are commanded to be a solo winner every single day in your life in Jesus' name. You are commanded you use the national ability that God has given you. That is your mouth, that is your leg, anything that you can do in Jesus' name. You are commanded the anointing upon this house to work for the glory of God to do 
miracles and wonders in Jesus name. Amen. In the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the, the love, love of God, God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Celebrate! 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 Celebr